Alright guys, what's going on? Welcome to a new Android tutorial. I actually haven't done a tutorial in quite some time, so here we go. Um, and today's tutorial, or the next three tutorials we're going to talk about are Android Auto. Android on the dashboard of the car, which is really, really, really cool how it all works. Unfortunately, there's a little setting up to do in order to get Android Auto in a testable state, because it's not actually out yet. And if you try to upload an app with it enabled, it won't work. The Google Play will say, oh, we can't do that. And also, Android Auto apps will be um, vetted by Google. Or they do, they'll be doing the Apple thing where they check the apps to make sure they're okay, which I think is good because nobody wants, you know, ridiculous, like, mad things happening in Android Auto. Um, you don't want to distract the driver. But anyway, first thing we need to do is we need to set up our emulator a little bit and get some extra configuration done. So I'm here in the standard Android, or in Android Studio, the new version. And um, we're just going to go to configure and SDK manager. So I'm just starting the SDK manager, same way you would any other uh, system. And unfortunately, I've got a couple of build tools and stuff to download. So I'm just going to uncheck everything here. There's one thing we're looking for. Uh, SDK platform, no. System images, nope. Nope. Good, it's not updating that for me. Okay. Uh, support repositories, Google repositories, yep. Yeah. Now what you need to do is you need to get the Android Auto API simulators. That's the big one you're looking for. Okay? And install that. Um, I'll explain what these simulators do. So Android Auto doesn't actually have an operating system in the car itself. It's a little bit strange how Android Auto works. But it doesn't yeah, you know, there's nothing installed in the car. There's only some hardware and maybe some like drivers and stuff. So what happens is when you connect your phone to Android Auto, the phone goes into auto mode. So like a logo comes up on it and that's it. You can't use your phone. But the dashboard of the car with a screen in the dash will show up a projection of the whole, like it's a projection of the screen designed for the car. I need to explain this a little bit more, but essentially how you can test your apps is you can install the apps on your device. They come in the SDK manager. We just downloaded them. We can install those manually. So I'm just going to go and track down my SDK. So here's my Android SDK. And it's in extras, Google, simulators, okay? So we're going to open a command window. And... I'm going to need to type in a few commands here to install these. You don't have to do this, by the way. You can just copy and paste them to your device if you're using a device. But I'm pretty sure it's ADB install. Uh, and I want this one, Media Browser Simulator. Great. Properties, I have to copy it this way. I'm used to working on OS X and uh, work. There we go. So that's installing the Media Browser Simulator on the device. Done. Oh, and this will only work on Android 5, by the way. Uh, something you need to be aware of. And we also want to install the Messaging Simulator. So this app will actually show you what will come up on the dashboard. Now, there's obviously debugging and stuff enabled as well. So our devices, our devices now got this installed. So here they are here. So here we have Media Sim and Messaging Simulator. In fact, this thing is very, very small. Can I make it bigger? No. Hang on a second. Okay, so we're back. And I just had to increase the size of the emulator because it was tiny. So here's the emulator. So here is uh, the two things you could do with Android Auto are audio playback control and messaging. And that's really it. Uh, for now anyway, so we're going to open up the media sim app and this is what the dashboard will look like now Obviously, it's not going to have this menu button with you know hardware controls, but these are uh, for simulating The buttons on the steering wheel of a car so you can remotely press the buttons and simulate the steering wheel button and This is I'll ex actually explain this uh, side menu, but this is where you go to pick what um, item you want so this will be your list of apps down here on the left. And you know, if you want to play you know, radio station, let's say you want to play uh, 2FM or something like that in Ireland, or Google Play Music app, 
you would tap on it here and then it would bring up a list of options and songs and stuff you want to play uh, then down the bottom we have our various uh, media controls so that's the media browser simulator and that simulates uh, a me an audio playing app so if we press the home button and go back into this the messaging simulator okay we have to uh, messaging simulator we have to give them deep we have to give it access now you won't have to do this for uh, other devices for um, yeah, you won't need to do that for normal Android Auto users don't need to do that because the Android Auto is built into the actual Android system itself this is just because it's an external testing APK and Android security is basically saying mm, you need to give access to it so there we go there is our uh, media simulator so we've got call text listen so this if you click this on Android Auto the headphone button that will bring up the music section that we just seen which is the media browser I'm assuming this is directions no that's directions I'm not sure what that is maybe it's like a dial or something for the car like oh that's what it must be tapping that would bring up like the dials home and call so that's all you can do with Android Auto so guys that's it for this video the next video we're going to talk about the media browser because there's not actually a huge amount to it um, now the next video we won't get into actual audio playback because that's a whole complicated area and you don't want to go into that area uh, unless I'm not going to go into that area because I could spend two years doing videos on audio playback so I'm not going to do that but I will be showing you how to get like how to receive play pause commands how to handle um, you know getting the lists and all and items and things and allowing them to see what they can play and what they can't play so anyway guys that's it for this video and I'll see you next time